I represent many non-U.S. companies that come to Silicon Valley to do deals with local companies, as well as local companies that do transactions with companies that are uh, outside of the United States. One of the most interesting parts about doing cross-border deals is having to navigate through the cultural differences that uh, you encounter in dealing with people from other countries. And th this is inextricably part of the negotiation process. Um, people bring uh, different ways of, of doing business negotiations, and they also have different attitudes towards how they use lawyers and what they expect to see in a legal document. And as the lawyer tasked with helping put the deal together, um, it's something that I have to always keep in mind and not let th that become a misunderstanding that derails the deal. In terms of foreign law considerations, most of the transactions that we work on are governed by U.S. law. So as a baseline, you start with your U.S. legal approach. But if the company uh, that you're dealing with is a foreign company um, or there are assets that are abroad or there's IP or data that's going to cross borders, it's very important to uh, be aware that there are foreign laws that could implicate your deal and to deal with, to, to bring in local counsel who can help advise on those things. Uh, one of the aspects that's really important to focus on is the dispute resolution provisions, which a lot of people think of as boilerplate, but it's really not in the context of a cross-border deal. In terms of if there's a dispute, you need to be clear on where the dispute is going to be litigated or arbitrated. And we'll typically want that to be in the United States, in San Francisco, or in, in, in a convenient jurisdiction, in a convenient court. But you also have to think about if you do win that dispute, how do you enforce against a foreign company, and are you going to be able to take that judgment to the other country? And so from that perspective, you have to think about those things. The ultimate negotiation goals are to get a deal done, and you can never uh, force someone to do a transaction that they're not comfortable with. So part of dealing with a cross-border deal is to take into account the differences that people have, be respectful of them, and help all the parties get to a very positive place where they can successfully uh, close the deal.